What's up? How are you guys today? I've spoken in the past about various surgeries I've had, double jaw surgery, LASIK eye surgery, and I'm all for it if the problem can't be fixed in a natural way. The procedure that drives me crazy the most is the BBL Brazilian butt lift, which has absolutely exploded in popularity over these past few years. They basically transfer fat from your stomach, lower back, and put it in your butt. I mean, it seems like kind of crude and like silly. And we'll get into those specific negatives of the procedure, but why can't you just go to the gym? Girls can get a natural muscular butt that looks amazing. And uh, I actually knew this girl that worked out seriously, like heavy squats every week in the gym. Her butt was so big, it made me question my sexuality because I felt like I should be into it more. You know, it's like the fantasy, big booty goth mommy that most people would die happy with. I mean, there's a lot more to that story, but. So yeah, there's definitely some textural differences between uh, this procedure and someone that has a natural butt. And this isn't some easy peasy in and out thing. It's incredibly invasive. If you watch videos of this, <laughs> you probably would never get it. And you actually can't sit down for eight weeks after surgery. The fat cells and all that other tissue went under so much stress during the surgery that just sitting on them can kill them, leave indentations. The body is recovering from all the trauma. Think about it. You're taking fat tissue that has naturally formed in your body in some type of matrix, ripping it out and placing it somewhere else. You know, that tissue damage, it's just not possible for it to look natural short term and definitely not good long term. And I took this quote off of Google. A survey taken from almost 700 surgeons worldwide showed that 3% of the surgeons had a patient pass away after the procedure. The British Association of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons explained that BBLs hold the highest mortality rate with one in 3,000 patients passing away after receiving the surgery. And on average, you know, if a BBL surgeon is doing a reasonable amount of surgeries, that means every two or three years, someone passes away, which is, I mean, insane. So one in 3,000 is considered a very high mortality rate for a surgery. And the growing popularity seems to be from influencers, Instagram models, celebrities. I'm not so certain this is a natural trend. You know, I think many surgical associations are paying these influencers a lot of money to talk about what they got done and where they got done. It's, you know, really superficial. And it seems like a lot of these celebrities and people haven't really worked for many things that hard in their life. So going to the gym consistently and eating well, you know, they just want to suffer for like a few weeks and have the big butt. It's uh, a little ridiculous. And if you do the math, you know, depending on the popularity of the doctor, we're talking millions of dollars to dozens of millions of dollars in annual revenue from uh, BBL procedures, <laughs> but what really takes the cake is it's not permanent. It reverts back. You know, the body has metabolism that regulates fat distribution, you know, so depending on your hormones and various environmental factors, when you eat food, your body will store fat in certain places. And after the BBL, your body wants to naturally move that fat around. But if you lose weight, it's even worse. You know, I've heard stories of girls like they'll get one and then they'll go to the gym and work out and then lose weight and then it just goes away, so. And then I found a quote that I thought was a little funny on this surgeon's website. Unfortunately, in most cases, the exercises women complete do not target the gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and gluteus minimus. Thus, while exercise should be incorporated into your everyday routine and pelvic raises, squats, and lunges can help enhance your figure, only a BBL will deliver dramatic results. I mean, that's a ridiculous lie, implying that working out will not give you the badonkadonk tushy. 
yeah, it might take six months to a year to have something decent, and then two or three years to have like a complete weapon of a behind. It's just ridiculous though, you know, it's not like a breast surgery where you can't, you know, grow boobies. I mean, you should be in the gym anyway, working out and having good healthy muscle tone. So getting something like this in the context of a healthy person is never really uh, something that comes up. But I guess uh, a lot of these young girls, you know, want more male attention and, and not that they get enough already, right? So, you know, go to the gym, put in a lot of work and you know, most people nowadays are used to the instant rewards with social media, all that type of stuff. They see what other people have. So sometimes guys are more inclined to go into the gym and work out. But even then, they still look at like steroids and performance enhancing drugs as like the quick solution to their dream body. But, you know, I mean, guys, it's really just a few years in the gym and eating healthy. But that is easier said than done because the modern conventional wisdom is not correct. So we did a workout routine that we came out with a few years ago, high volume hypertrophy, or it's called maximum volume hypertrophy. So you need to do a lot more volume than most routines are, and uh, the quality of the diet is very important. Like you'll see young girls with cellulite now, and their fat tissue just looks kind of weird and unattractive. That's because of like the seed oils and the oxidative stress and all the crap they're eating in their diet. So eating quality organic animal protein is very important, quality organic grains, just making sure the diet is really correct on its own can kind of fix your body and fat distribution without even really having to exercise that much. So you have to definitely consider what type of diet and exercise you're doing because if you're just on a standard American diet with protein powder and you go to the gym and work out, you know, your body's not going to look good, you know, regardless of what you're doing. It's going to take a very long time for any results. So thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you've enjoyed this topic. If you guys do want to support me, you can check out frank for all of my interesting businesses where you can get quality animal protein on Frankie's Strange Meat, tons of unique products on Frankie's Strange Foods. Guys, we're coming out with new stuff every week, so be sure to check out the websites, read a little bit about the products, see what you can learn. But outside of that, as always, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining. I'll see you guys soon.